Back in the States, we have a thing called the Super Bowl. And there's a lot of hype. And sometimes it lives up to it. Sometimes it don't. It's not a great game. This lived up to it. This lived up to what a fight of this significance, of this statue, of this historic importance should be. It really did. Alexander Yusik has released an audio recording featuring a concerning dialogue between John Fury, Tyson Fury, and the referee for the evening, Mark Nelson. Despite their efforts to avoid sounding incriminating, the conversation is now suspected to be the cause of the questionable officiating in the ninth round, which thwarted Usyk's chance for a knockout victory. The situation is poised to escalate further. Controversial boxing matches are almost the norm rather than the exception these days. Nearly every significant bout seems to stir up some level of controversy. Take, for instance, one of the most anticipated fights of the 21st century, which drew massive attention and sparked intense debate. In this historic matchup, referee Mark Nelson's decisions came under heavy scrutiny, particularly concerning the dominant performance of Oleksandr Usyk. Boxing experts and fans alike questioned the officiating, leading to widespread discussion and criticism. Immediately, Oleksandr Usyk and his team started raising questions from the ring. While many thought they were satisfied with the win, Usyk and his team took it a step further by obtaining an audio tape. This tape allegedly features Tyson Fury and John Fury discussing with referee Mark Nelson, seeking favorable treatment. Remarkably, Nelson's decisions in the ninth round seem to reflect this conversation. Usyk, known for his strong finishes and Olympic gold medalist prowess, took control in the final rounds. He dominated the eighth round and nearly stopped Fury in the ninth, hurting the six nine inches fighter, who now holds 34 wins, one draw, and one loss in 36 fights. Usyk's left hand sent Fury sprawling into a corner in the final seconds of the ninth, earning a knockdown just before Fury was saved by the bell. However, with the tape's discovery, it appears the referee, more than the bell, was Fury's main savior. Immediately, Oleksandr Usyk and his team started raising questions from the ring. While many thought they were satisfied with the win, Usyk and his team took it a step further by obtaining an audio tape. This tape allegedly features Tyson Fury and John Fury discussing with referee Mark Nelson, seeking favorable treatment. Remarkably, Nelson's decisions in the ninth round seem to reflect this conversation. Usyk, known for his strong finishes and Olympic gold medalist prowess, took control in the final rounds. He dominated the eighth round and nearly stopped Fury in the ninth, hurting the six nine inches fighter, who now holds 34 wins, one draw, and one loss in 36 fights. Usyk's left hand sent Fury sprawling into a corner in the final seconds of the ninth, earning a knockdown just before Fury was saved by the bell. However, with the tape's discovery, it appears the referee, more than the bell, was Fury's main savior. Despite Usyk securing a split decision victory after 12 rounds, his promoter voiced strong complaints. Rumors circulated that the promoter had initiated efforts to investigate potential irregularities involving the Furies and referee Mark Nelson. Reports suggested that the promoter was responsible for providing Oleksandr Usyk with incriminating tape. The tape allegedly showed significant bias in favor of Tyson Fury, prompting speculation that the Furies and Mark Nelson would face serious scrutiny from boxing authorities. Believing in the supposed bribes he had received, Tyson Fury felt entitled to the win and attributed his loss to Usyk's nationality when the victory did not go his way. In the ring after his showdown with Oleksandr Usyk, Tyson Fury suggested that the judges favored the Ukrainian due to the ongoing war in Ukraine. At the subsequent news conference, Fury deflected a question on the matter. While addressing the crowded press room, Usyk was taken to the hospital for a precautionary MRI scan, a routine procedure after intense fights, and joined the conference an hour later. Fury stated, It's not up to us. The judges make the decision. I can't complain. I thought I did enough to win, but it's just one loss in a very close fight. I tried my best and enjoyed it. He caught me. I caught him. I thought he edged one of the first six rounds.
After the fight, Fury expressed his thoughts in the ring, saying, I believe I won that match. He might have taken a few rounds, but I dominated the majority. It's one of those decisions in boxing. What can you do? We both gave it our all and delivered a great fight. With his country being at war, people are naturally siding with him. But make no mistake, in my opinion, I won that fight. I'll be back, and we have a rematch clause in place. Contrary to popular belief, many impartial fans who watched the fight scored it as a draw at best for Tyson Fury. However, one judge, seemingly having an off day, scored the match in Fury's favor, denying Oleksandr Usyk a unanimous decision victory. A seasoned boxing professional not only suspected a questionable connection between Mark Nelson and Tyson Fury, but also remarked that Fury's demeanor throughout the fight exuded the confidence of a winner. With the leaked audio, it's now evident that Tyson Fury had a second man in the ring fighting in his favor, which fueled his overconfidence. Lennox Lewis criticized Fury's game plan against Oleksandr Usyk following Fury's split decision loss to the Ukrainian. Usyk managed a late comeback to clinch the fight, and Lewis, the last undisputed champion before Saturday's contest, pointed out that Fury's tactics were flawed. Entering the ring, Mark Nelson was selected for his seasoned expertise and numerous accreditations. He boasts licenses from prestigious boxing bodies such as the World Boxing Association, World Boxing Organization, and International Boxing Federation, having presided over more than a hundred world title bouts. However, his performance on fight day painted a regrettable spectacle, tarnishing the sport's reputation and leaving many to dub it a display of disgrace. John Fury dominated the conversation on the leaked tape, which took place just days before the fight. The focus was primarily on the financial incentives promised to Mark Nelson should Tyson Fury emerge victorious. Rather than directly pleading or persuading him for a favor, they opted to subtly offer him money as a token of appreciation, essentially a bribe. John Fury's tone resembled that of someone celebrating Tyson's assumed victory, treating Mark Nelson as though he had already secured the undisputed world championship. However, the events of the ninth round ultimately revealed the true intentions behind their actions. Upon catching wind of the leaked tape, Fans swiftly swarmed social media, demanding retribution for Mark Nelson and Tyson Fury. The controversy escalated when Oleksandr Usyk spoke out during his post-fight interview, sparking widespread discussion. It wasn't until a thorough review of the footage that the gravity of the situation became apparent. Eddie Hearn's remarks added fuel to the fire, suggesting that Tyson Fury narrowly escaped defeat against Usyk. The sports authorities are now closely monitoring the situation but the damage to boxing's reputation may already be done. He, even the ref could have stopped it, you know? Yeah. Like, he was gone. Damn, I mean, the, when the ref jumped in, I thought I didn't know whether he'd stopped it. Let's give him an eight. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope you have. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. 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 They thought Puggy Coffee is very tough. Well, I have to draw. What do I know? Well, I thought it was I'm you can say Fury won the fight. He boxed very well for six rounds. The Ukrainian fighter surged in the final moments to secure a split decision victory, yet Hearn opined that the match could have been halted when Fury appeared dazed. I felt he dodged a bullet there with the referee's decision, remarked Hearn during a post-fight interview. Despite seeming on the verge of collapse, Fury exhibited remarkable fortitude to remain upright, displaying extraordinary resilience in the 10th and 11th rounds despite being at a disadvantage. Additionally, David Hay, a retired cruiserweight and heavyweight boxer, expressed dissatisfaction with the referee's 10-count procedure administered by Nelson. He criticized the timing of the count, arguing that by the time it concluded and Fury's capability to defend himself was assessed, there remained insufficient time to resume the bout before the round concluded. Hayes' frustration boiled over during his commentary on TNT Sports, where he passionately asserted that if the situation were reversed with Usyk, the match would have been halted, allowing ample time for recovery. Observers from ringside noted the apparent unfairness of the sequence, casting a negative light on the referee's decision-making process. Derek Chisora, however, pointed a finger at Nelson, alleging he granted Fury an excessive recovery window from Usyk's barrage. 
Speaking with the stomping ground, Chisora intercepted Nelson post-match. Usyk unleashed a flurry of overhand lefts, sending Fury staggering backward into the ring's corner. While referee Mark Nelson signaled a knockdown, Fury seemed propped up by the corner post. Ringside officials initiated the count, but Chisora contested its duration, deeming it excessive. Hey, well, that guy, I don't know what the hell was that about. That was the most dodgiest count I've ever heard in boxing. That, 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 that. Let's be honest. Boxing is a great sport. Let's just not try and ruin it with stupid things like this. Do you know how many people love boxing? But if we ruin it with stupid things like this, people don't they fall out of love with boxing. Do you understand? Great, great, great fight. I mean, great fight. Great show. You know, you know the best thing about this show was? There was no alcohol. Everybody sat there and watched the fight. Sober. After Nelson exited the scene, Chisora couldn't resist commenting that it felt like he had just witnessed the longest count in the annals of boxing. In a subsequent interview, he didn't mince words, labeling the count as a blemish on the sport. Reflecting on the rules, Chisora emphasized, they say if the ropes are your only support, the referee should intervene. But in this case, it felt excessive. He went on to express his belief that the referee should have either let the opponent finish Nelson off or halted the bout altogether. The Gypsy King found himself in a daze for several rounds, yet despite this, all three judges ultimately favored Fury in the final round. Upon closer inspection of the replay, it's evident that the referee momentarily halted the count, checking in with Tyson before resuming. Chisora remarked, that it was a miscommunication on the referee's part, emphasizing the need to rectify such errors. Tony Bellew, recalling his own knockout by Usyk in November 2018, speculated that Fury might have met a similar fate had the in-ring official not erred. Expressing his view on a live TV broadcast, Bellew opined that the bout should have been halted in the ninth round, asserting that Usyk should have been allowed to continue his assault uninterrupted. The referee, he added, was aware of his mistake in that crucial moment. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.